Well, hello there, Retro PC Durham. It's Chris here with uh, part four of our Windows 98 build. So here we are. I have set up our system on the desk. We have our tower that we built in the uh, last video portion. Connected up to our Gold Star Studio Works 5D monitor with integrated speaker and microphone. I haven't hooked up the microphone yet, but I did hook up the speaker. So hopefully, when we go through this process of installing Windows 98, we will actually hear that beautiful Windows 98 startup sound when the system starts up. And then we have our PS2 uh, compact keyboard and ball mouse to go along with this system as well. I have not powered on the system yet, so we don't know if this baby's going to go or not, but uh, that's what we're going to find out right now. It's the smoke test. Here we go. <laughs> I forgot to flip the power switch. Oh, I hear that hissing sound again. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but okay, so here we go. Power to monitor. That orange light is on. And let's hit the power switch and see what happens. Signal is going, keyboard lit up. We are alive. We are definitely alive. There we go. So um, we have the one gigabyte drive showing up as the primary master disk, that's the flash drive, so our IDE flash controller is working. We have our LS120 and our CD-ROM drive showing up as the secondary master and slave, that is working. This is great, this is great. Our IRQ listings are showing up, um, our serial bus controllers, our IDE controllers are showing up fine, I've got two multimedia devices showing up input device and display controller so I'm multimedia device one and two I'm thinking is onboard audio and then the sound blaster card and then the display controller being our video card everything looks like it is working fine we of course have a disk boot failure because I don't have any bootable disk in the drive here or in the CD-ROM drive so this is perfect our 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 test <laughs> Our first test works. So now we're gonna, I'm gonna reposition here and and get a little bit better view on the camera so I can sit down here as well. And we're gonna see if we can get Windows installed on this system. Okay, I think that that's good. All right, now uh, let me take a look and see in my magic CD case, because something that you may not have anymore, <laughs> but doing something like this, I still have, is a magic CD case. And I do have an old, uh oh, oh no, I've got a small problem here. I have a small problem here. The small problem here is I installed a CD ROM drive, and I have Windows 98 SE here on a DVD. <gasps> Oh no, what a silly boy I am. What a silly boy I am. Okay, that means I'm going to have to quickly burn a CD with Windows 98 on it because I don't have Windows 98 on a CD. What a silly boy I am. Okay, let's get that taken care of. Okay, we did a little time skip. <laughs> I now have Windows 98 SE on a CD-ROM drive instead of on a DVD. So that should work. Now, as I mentioned, we're doing this kind of 
as we go. So prep is going to be something that we're going to do all around here. I don't remember if Windows 98 actually has the proper installation requirements available or if I need to do something else to get this to work. So we're going to figure that out as we go here and try to remember how this all goes. I'm just doing a little research here and we're going to uh, hopefully get a boot from CD-ROM command. We got the CD-ROM spinning. Okay, here we go. So we're going to boot from CD-ROM. We are going to start the Windows 98 setup from the CD-ROM. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, here we are, the Windows 98 setup. So we need to um, continue with the setup and press enter. Uh, we're going to do a routine check on the system. I don't think this is going to take very long since we only have the one gig hard drive and it is a flash based storage, right? Doing the SD card. Okay, we now have uh, no mouse support, which is interesting. The mouse does not appear to be working. So we're going to continue. I'm hoping I can't remember if this does any type of like disk partitioning on it. Ideally, I want to I want to create a split this into two 500 meg drives, but if it just does it all together, that's fine too, I guess. And the reason why I want to do that is I actually have a a set of driver files that I have saved I downloaded for like Windows 98 drivers for all of the components in case Windows didn't see something correctly that I would already have them and I just need to pull them off the I put them on the flash drive on my main system and then they'll already be on it when I boot the system back up again um, I will have to open the system up here to be able to get to it because of the way we installed it I didn't mount it in a PCI slot which is what I should obviously have done uh or, or mounted it in the front a front bay or something that i could easily access it uh, we didn't do that so tough luck all right we're stuck are we stuck here on are we stuck here on preparing the windows 98 setup we could be thinking we could be hung Okay, here we go. Oh, still no, still no mouse access. I'm pretty sure this mouse works, so I'm not, not entirely sure what's going on with that. Okay, so we are okay to install and see Windows. Windows is preparing our installation. I wonder if the PS2, if the actual mouse port on the system may be no good? I don't know. I keep reaching for it. <laughs> okay, we are going to, um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do the typical installation for now. We can add in more or remove stuff afterwards um, if we need to. Uh, I want to install the most common components. We're going to call this uh, Win98. SE PC Win 98 SEPC. Okay. <laughs> uh, we are going to be from Canada because that's where we are. And we're going to start installing Windows. Sit back 
relax, well, Windows 98 installs on your computer. With an estimated 29 minutes remaining in our total installation. Let's see how this goes. I haven't seen anything come up here on formatting or anything. Now, obviously, this flash, the flash drive that's here would be formatted with FAT32 uh, as the partition table anyway. Um, I did check to make sure that it was a, a like fully formatted drive before we installed it. So that's probably okay. And now I guess our bottleneck for installation is just going to be how quickly this LG 52X Max CD-ROM drive is able to pull the information off of this Windows 98 SE installation compact disk to place it on the flash drive. One hundred percent. All right, setup needs to restart. We'll see what happens next. If I remember correctly, we'll do the boot. We won't. We won't boot from the CD-ROM this time. Just let this pass. Boot from hard drive. Windows 98 getting ready to run Windows for the first time. My goodness. quite something seeing this seeing this window and this boot up quite nostalgic now obviously I've put together Windows 98 machines many many times in the past and even recently uh, I actually had a uh, someone who was looking for a Windows 98 machine to run an old to run the software to run a CNC machine and I put together a system for them um, out of out of you know donated parts, and uh, uh, they were quite thankful, right? Obviously, because it's hard to come across these parts uh, to get this stuff up and running. So, putting something that together and and making that available to them um, was uh, was quite. Uh, they were quite thankful, and I was happy to. I mean, I got the stuff for free, so uh, more than happy to pass pass that along to others. But uh, you know, getting getting this machine up and running here now to to do something leisure related for myself is uh, is kind of fun, kind of interesting. All right, let's see. Setup is updating my configuration files, and that was completed very quickly. Now it's continuing to load Windows. Let's see if Windows actually will get in. Could actually get in and go. That's a good question. Here we go. Windows is starting. I still don't have a mouse control though. I wonder if this mouse is just dead. 
So what we can do is I do have a couple other mice, obviously. We've got this Microsoft mouse here, and then I've got another one of these Microsoft mice here. And if neither of those work because it's actually the PS2 port that's bad, I do also have this oldie that I've been saving around, this Microsoft mouse here that actually is an old school, old school serial port mouse. So we will resolve these issues. So we're going to go with W98, W98SE, I can't do this, uh, we are going to accept the agreement, we'll type in our product key now. Windows 98 is now initializing its driver database. My goodness. An estimated 18, ooh, less than 18 minutes remain. Plug and play devices, uh, sound card, uh, the LS120 drive, any of the onboard stuff. Um, I think that's probably about it, but it's going to actually be able to find maybe and and run without drivers but we'll see i i have a feeling there's going to be quite a bit of stuff that i'm going to have to get get going uh, my my memories my memories are still strong enough of of my windows 9x days that uh, windows did not have drivers for many 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 components and common driver files were incredibly uncommon uh you know fast forward to now and as dislikable as windows 10 may be for many people because of its its connections to microsoft and data collection the ability for it to find and update and run components without having to add any additional drivers and be able to pull them from a common driver database or even something like using an older graphics card it'll just use the microsoft display driver and it'll work on, it'll run almost any graphics card from, from olden days. You, you know, you don't have that, you don't have that with the Windows 98 time period. So there's the pluses and the minuses, the gives and the takes, the improvements and the disprovements. <laughs> All right, we're 14 minutes remaining. And now 13 minutes remaining. I can't see how it could possibly take this long to detect all the plug-and-play devices on the system. There's not that many components. Ah, there we go. Uh, now, non-plug-and-play hardware. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully the progress indicator will not stop for a long time and there will be no disk activity so we don't have to crash start the machine. I would like for it to cleanly complete the Windows 98 setup. Okay, come on, come on, <laughs> don't just sit there stuck at 99. You, you better not. Don't you dare. Oh no, is it? Is it? Is it? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, man. 
I had forgotten that the Windows 98 setup does all of this stuff, like this detecting, and then more detecting, and then it's going to try and set stuff up, and, then, and it does all this in the setup instead of after Windows boots for the first time and detects stuff. Uh, I guess that's maybe the Windows 95 installation. It just does the installation, boots up, and then it says, oh, I found all this stuff, right? Uh, that was something that they tried to do differently with Windows 98, where it tried to set up a bunch of stuff first. I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. Rebooting again. Um, I'm not going to try them. I'm going to wait till Windows is fully loaded, and then we're going to try and resolve this mouse issue. Um... I wonder if it, I wonder if it's a I wonder if it's a BIOS thing. I wonder if I disabled the mouse port in the BIOS or I had to manually turn it on. We can go and check that. We'll swap mice first. Maybe we'll check the BIOS first. We'll check the BIOS first because I I wanted I want to disable the floppy disk controller anyway since we don't have a floppy disk drive installed. Um, we didn't really go through the the BIOS at all when we when we did the initial setup so check this stuff here and do this uh, how do I Oops. No. No. Volume. I just want to bring the volume down a little bit because I don't know how loud this is going to be when we start this thing up, if it actually works. And I don't want to blow up you know, these, these giant multimedia stereo speakers could blow out uh, our eardrums together. I would hate for that to happen. Only seven minutes remaining. I got to admit, um... I was expecting this to go really quick because of not using a, a standard hard drive. I was wrong. <laughs> the, this setup takes... I mean, I know that the installation, you know, was relatively quick, but it was, I mean, even slowed down by using the CD-ROM drive. You had to wait for the data to be pulled off. Holy cow, this takes a long time. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, you know, that being said, I mean, a full Windows 98 installation versus a full Windows 10 installation is quite a bit difference in terms of the amount of disk space required. Um, you know, a couple hundred megabytes worth of space versus, you know, upwards of 30 gigabytes, <laughs> depending on what you're installing. Uh, it feels like Windows 10 takes less time to install. Uh, <laughs> Of course, now we're talking about, you know, installing off of flash devices and all that stuff. So there's, there's no, there's no, bo there's next to no bottlenecks from a hardware perspective. But wow, this, this, like, just a setup perspective, like how long this is taking to do whatever it is it's doing with those drums, with that drum and those drumsticks. 
or you know maybe they're french fries in a in an empty ketchup dip container or something it's a ketchup it's a ketchup lid and some really small french fries I think we're getting closer. That bar is that bar is progressing. The minutes are traveling so fast. It was on seven minutes for about ten minutes. At least it felt like it. <laughs> and now we progressed from five minutes to three minutes in about thirty seconds. Are we finally done? Did I see that correctly? Did the bar go back one? No, it couldn't have. I mean, just my 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 mind's playing tricks on me. All right, let's see how this goes. One more time. While this uh, plug and play setup and everything was going, I did swap the mouse with one of the other mice. Uh, so this time when it boots up, we'll see if it actually reads it. And uh, once again, apologize for the, the screen quality here. This is a CRT screen that we're using. Um, and the refresh rate is not lined up with the refresh rate with the FPS on my... Um, on the camera here that we're recording at so there is going to be a little bit of that screen wonk of wow wows windows did not detect a mouse you can safely attach a serial mouse now okay well maybe we can try doing that um i want to try attaching this serial mouse to the system and see if that works and if that resolves our issue that resolves our issue with mice not working, we can always troubleshoot afterwards. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, we can troubleshoot afterwards why it's not why it's not going properly. And uh, in the meantime, oh, in the meantime, does that work? Sorry about that. I'm making a big mess here. Uh, I am not. I am not, oh, there it is, okay, we have serial mouse. The serial mouse is working, okay? So we have the Microsoft serial mouse plugged in and working correctly. The LG StudioWorks 5D monitor has been detected. what we're doing we're updating settings something's going on okay uh, so I thought that this would happen We do not have what appears to be any sound. Coming out. So let's take a look and see what happened here. With. This system. Yeah, so we've got. Our our audio devices. Standard PCI graphics adapter. Uh, yeah, okay. So that, I mean, that's about as expected. That we're not getting any sound because we don't have our drivers for our sound card uh, working, which means there is no sound. So 
I'm not sure what the PCI input controller is, but I, it, I'm assuming that this maybe is something with one of the audio devices, but these two PCI multimedia audio devices are going to be the onboard audio and then the sound blaster uh, audio. So we're going to, we're going to have to get those installed. In the meantime, I can take a look here and see we have our single hard drive and we've used up about half of the space so this will be a pretty tight install i mean i did choose a one gig um storage device i could have picked something larger but um i don't know why i picked this this is i just i just picked it i just did it okay i just did it don't judge me um, we don't have a floppy disk drive, so we're going to need to work that out as well. So the next thing I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to shut down, and I need to um, move us on to the next step. So so what we'll do is in the next video is install all of our drivers and resolve. Uh, any of the issues we have with regards to the CD, uh, the floppy disk drive uh, being removed, the mouse controller not working, etc., and get everything running the way we want to. Um, but at least we know Windows installed. The monitor seems to work fine. We won't, you know, we don't yet know how well the sound works, but we'll get that resolved as well. And uh, we're one step closer to this system being up and running and ready to do what we need it to do. So. Thanks again for joining me on this little li this little journey. It's uh, it's taken longer than I um, I don't know. Is it taking longer than I expected it to? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I figured it would be you know a, a multiple hour thing to get this thing up and running, and uh, and it certainly is the case. But uh, you know it doesn't matter. This this is a this is it, it's all about the the journey. Uh, as much as it is, is about getting to the goal. So thank you for coming along this journey with me. Uh, stay tuned for the, uh, the follow-up episodes that we have on this coming in the, following, in the following weeks as I try to get a video out every Friday to keep this, uh, keep this series going on this channel. And as always, I hope that you are staying safe and healthy out there during these strange times, and we will catch you in the next one.